there have been others. In 1922, the Army Air Forces evidenced their first active interest in helicopter development by sponsoring the Russian-born engineer de Bolsazat, who built and tested this huge craft at McCook Field, Ohio. During the captive flight stage of its development, we find its progress being observed by Mitchell, then a chief of the Air Forces. De Bolsazat apparently had no time for scale models. His craft weighed 3,600 pounds and was powered by a 220 horsepower engine. His best efforts never got it beyond the reach of a six-foot man. In spite of its apparently erratic flight characteristics, it succeeded in exhibiting an encouraging amount of stability, but the results obtained were not striking enough to warrant continuing the project. One year after the de Bolsazat machine had been abandoned, Emil Berliner was attempting to get this faltering craft into the air at College Park, Maryland. This was his third and most nearly successful model. The photographic evidence at hand would hardly support the popular belief that a third attempt is infallible. In Italy, Dascagno built this not ungraceful craft in 1930. Its record ceiling was 59 feet, distance 3,500 feet. With varying degrees of success, these and numerous other weird craft rose and fell in the...